Well, uh, good afternoon and welcome to everybody. This is certainly a uh, very exciting afternoon here at, I don't know which title to use yet, if it's Baywib Mass Hire, I don't want to make that announcement yet. Um, but wherever it is that we're at, we're happy to have you all here. Um, the, uh, we're looking very much forward to the event upstairs, the open house, the announcements upstairs. Uh, but the Lieutenant Governor also has an additional announcement to make today uh, regarding a major investment uh, by the state that's going to facilitate uh, a large project right here in the heart of the downtown. So uh, would you please welcome the Lieutenant Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Karen Polito. Well, good afternoon, everyone. This is a full house. I'm very happy to be here uh, with all of you, with the mayor, with my colleagues and government uh, representatives and senator that will have an opportunity to speak in just a, a few minutes. But I just wanted to come first and foremost uh, before we go upstairs with Secretary Acosta to talk about that announcement, just to, just to congratulate uh, Brockton, congratulate the leadership here. Uh, the mayor sets the tone and everyone just working together collaboratively uh, to, to showcase what's happening here in Brockton. I am so happy to fall, uh, follow the heels of the governor being here just a short time ago, uh, talking about the, the garage and those investments. Uh, we sit in what's called a, a TDI. There's a, this is a transformative development area of the Commonwealth, and we are literally seeing it transform uh, before our eyes. Uh, I was also happy to know that this is an opportunity zone. Uh, taking advantage of federal resources that could become available and private investment in this neighborhood that will continue to allow you to fulfill the, the vision that you have set uh, for downtown Brockton. Uh, today is an important announcement because it falls uh, squarely uh, within the vision that you have set and the vision that our Secretary Jay Ash and our economic development team has set for downtown uh, cities like downtowns in cities like uh, Brockton, in a gateway city. When we think of economic development, it really starts with populating downtowns and main streets with more people. Not only more people who are here during the day to go to work uh, and then may go someplace else at night uh, where they live, but that live here, that stay here, and that go to bed at night here and wake up here in the morning in your downtown. Why do we feel that's so important? It's important because these are individuals and families who need services, who want restaurants, who want culture and entertainment and things to do. Uh, they may get on the train, which is so close by because this is a transit-oriented development area, and be able to get to work. Or uh, those that might work in uh, or live in other areas want to come here to Brockton for things that you offer here. So having housing in the downtown is critically important to helping you achieve more economic opportunity. And that's why today, when you're looking at this rendering of 121 Main Street, which we all know where that is, uh, is there a prova? Yeah. Is there? Yeah. Uh, I've been keeping an eye on it, Lieutenant. You've been having a lot of fun there, I think. I've been following you on Twitter. and You're there a lot, so it must be a fun place. <laughs> But before Guilty. Prova, before Prova, I was standing there with you and making a Brownfields announcement, uh, a small amount of money, seed money that we awarded uh, to you uh, to do the assessment of the building and then determine uh, what could follow next, which is the reason why I'm here to congratulate NeighborWorks and the city uh, for a $22 million uh, housing uh, that will be constructed in 121 Main Street, 48 units of housing mixed between affordable and market rate uh, workforce housing and uh, an over $15 million commitment from the state uh, in tax credits and grants to help uh, partner with the developer to make more housing available uh, to people here in downtown Brockton. <laughs> I want, I want to congratulate you uh, for the vision, but also for your resourcefulness. Uh, the mayor and his team uh, are, are very adept at finding the right partners to work with and also taking advantage of the grant opportunities and tax credit programs that are available at the state level and cobbling all that together to make stuff happen. Uh, there's no question you need 
uh, people uh, who wake up every day in this community and are the driving force behind uh, this kind of agenda. And you've got a great mayor and colleagues in your legislative delegation who wake up in this city, who think about it, plan for it, go to bat for it every single day. And it's a, it's a great uh, honor for the governor, uh, Charlie, and I t and our team to be able to partner with all of you. Finally, I just want to say that that's an incredible asset that this state has. I, I kind of feel like we live in our own uh, bubble here because we have this collaborative style of governing and working together across political lines to get things done, working state and local government and our private sector working together. And if we just keep rolling up our sleeves and focusing on our work, Gee, look, look what good things can come of that. Uh, you're doing a great job here in Brockton. Really happy to be here to make this announcement today. And I look forward to our next visit. Maybe, um, maybe right after November 6th, I can join you at Prava. Will it still be go. open? No. Oh, it won't no. be open then. All right, I might have to stop ahead of then. <laughs> All right, congratulations, and thank you for having me. Uh, the Lieutenant Governor really hit on a lot of the key points. We have a lot of partners in this room with us, and uh, these types of projects require us all getting behind it. And uh, Rob Corley will be up in a moment from NeighborWorks. I want to recognize Rob May, our Director of Planning and Economic Development. He, uh, working as the TDI district, our first grant we received from DTI, TDI funded uh, our downtown action strategy. And what you see in this project, that could be the poster project for all of the programs <clears throat> and all of the things we're trying to do downtown. It's mixed use. We're still revitalizing the business district on the ground floor. We're rebuilding a vital business district in the heart of the downtown. And this will be two or three commercial retail spaces on the ground floor. and the plans call for one of those spaces to be a restaurant, and we know how hard we're all working to bring restaurants into the downtown, and it's gonna be a lot easier to convince a restaurant to occupy that space when there's 48 residents who also live right in the building with them, and they see these other developments popping up around the downtown. And I think one thing Prava showed us this summer is that there is a market for restaurants and a nightlife in downtown Brockton, if you give people a reason to come out, they will come out. And projects like this will do it. So this just hits a lot of real key chords for us. It's transit-oriented development, which is at the foundation of our vision for the downtown. It's walking distance to the commuter rail station, a commuter rail station that connects to our local Brockton area transit, a commuter rail station that where the train ride is exactly 30 minutes to sell station. And with this type of housing here, we will really build a market of being the most affordable place to live that you can get into downtown Boston in a 30 minute commute. And that's what we have to market in downtown. That's what this project represents. It also represents re uh, re uh, reoccupying, reigniting, um, reactivating a vacant space. Prava has been a lot of fun this summer, uh, but it is a vacant space in the heart of the downtown. It was the former Kresge's. It was a long-term vacant building that we finally had to tear down two or three years ago. Um, and Prava has been exciting this summer, but what's even more exciting is that the prospect, the vision of this project beginning construction on that site right in the heart of the downtown. And the final thing I'll just mention, because there is a tremendous amount of state aid in this project, but the city also has some money in this too. So we committed $450,000 of our home funds towards the cost of the project. And I guess a half a million doesn't sound like a lot when it's a $22 million project, but that actually represents more than one year's worth of home funds to the city. That's actually a little more than the total we receive in a year. So our commitment actually had to be split into two years to make that kind of a commitment to the project. And I know the half a million is important, uh, but I think it was even more important that it symbolized that when DHCD and state agencies are looking at viability of projects, they want to see the local community put a little skin in the game themselves. If we believe in the project, we've got to put some of our own money in it too. 
and we don't have quite as much money as the state government does. But you know where to find it. Yeah, but <laughs> you brought your checkbook, right? Yeah. Um, but the fact of the matter is that we did commit almost half a million dollars of funds as a grant towards the cost of this project. So uh, we, we do have some skin in the game. We're looking forward to the project. This is a mosaic that's coming together piece by piece. And what we're really building here is a livable, walkable downtown. And, and that's what we're really excited about. And that's what this project will contribute to. Um, the Lieutenant Governor alluded to it, but it's great to tout all the state funding for the project. A project like this does not happen without our state legislative delegation. And uh, Senator Brady, Mike, and Jerry, and Claire, um, we work extremely well together. It's not that complicated. We've got to convince the governor to put it in the budget, and then we need our legislative team up on Beacon Hill shepherding it through and making sure that it, that it survives and it gets into the final budget. And I know that they worked incredibly hard up on the Hill to make sure uh, that the funding for this project would be there. So I, I appreciate everything uh, that you guys are doing for us up on the Hill. And we're under a little bit of time constraint, but we're going to have a Representative Cassidy come up and uh, make some remarks on behalf of the entire delegation. Uh, Representative Jerry Cassidy. Thank you. I'm going to be very brief because they said if Mike Brady talked, to be here in another half hour, uh, as we all know Mike. <laughs> I'll be very brief, but uh, I do, I know the, uh, the governor was here uh, uh, last week, and uh, that was very nice, but I have a special bond with the lieutenant governor, because March uh, 9th, uh, uh, 2016, she swore me in as state representative. So I just want to say thank you, lieutenant governor. Um, and I also just want to, uh, uh, a few months ago, Tim Doherty from NeighborWorks, uh, we sat down over here at Elvira, and uh, they wanted to get things rolling about uh, the, this 120 on Main Street. So I called my good friend Jay Ash, uh, Secretary Ash is without a doubt one of the ni nicest people. You know, I've known him for 30 years, and uh, he said, well, we'll see what we can do. And Senator Brady and I you know, made contact with him, and uh, he uh, got the ball rolling, and it's very good to have uh, Secretary Ash. Uh, and uh, Representative Cronin and uh, Representative DeBuyer was not here. But I do remember when this was Kresge's, and uh, uh, now that we have Prover, which means proof, proof this can happen, that downtown Brockton is one of those places that uh, is really on the men with the trains. And I just want to thank the uh, Polito and uh, Baker uh, administration. Thank you very much. Yeah, the, this project is being developed by NeighborWorks. We've had a great working relationship with, with NeighborWorks since we arrived here almost five years ago. And uh, this is just the, the latest project that we've had the ability to work on together. Uh, so to fill you in a little bit more on the details of the project, I'd like to invite up Rob Corley. Thank you, everyone. Um, very excited to be here today. We've been working on this project for a very, very long time. I, I will say, Lieutenant Governor, I do follow you on Twitter, and you get along <laughs> around everywhere. It's unbelievable. Um, so I want to thank you very, very much. And on behalf of our board of directors, we've been working, again, on this project and things just like this in Brockton for over 10 years um, with great support from our staff, uh, Cindy Prendergast and Joe Medallo and many that are here that have been working tirelessly in Brockton, right here in downtown, trying to make things happen. Um, I'm honored to just be part of it, uh, to be a part of such an exciting project that uh, Tim Doherty, our real estate development director, put his heart and soul into. Um, it's a, a LIHTC project. Um, it's workforce housing. It's got pretty much every source that we could possibly get into it. The mayor is right. The commitment of home funds that are here in the city to allocate two years worth of that, or essentially 100% of what they have available uh, to this project is amazing and sort of unprecedented. Um, and, and Rob May, uh, his vision with the mayor, uh, we sat down at, in the mayor's office at his big table there, and uh, we started talking about different sites in downtown Brockton, and this was the one that came up. Uh, we work very hard to get it to where it is today, and um, I'm just so honored to be part of this, and uh, thank you all for your support. I really appreciate it. So this is actually just the warm-up to a much bigger event <laughs> upstairs uh, that uh, we're really looking forward to. I, I want to thank uh, Sheila sullivan Jarden for being such a gracious uh, host and allowing us to use this space for this announcement here today. And we want everybody 
to join us upstairs for the uh, official launch of Mass Hire and the open house. And it really is truly an exciting event uh, upstairs. So please, thank you for being here with us. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. And uh, come on upstairs and join us upstairs, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>